and let's just get to shooting. There they are, five tanks. We're gonna go with the AK-47. Let, let me zoom into the tank a little yeah. bit. Okay. And um, we're using the 762 by 39 Listo? I'm ready. Which one you shoot? I'm gonna go left. Left? Yeah. Okay. You like the ricochet sounds. Oh, oh, that means. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Did I hit? The... Well, you hit the, the tank. I did. Let's go check. <laughs> Let me dump this ass into the uh, my grandpa's frozen lake. Wait, wait. Let's go check. This is an S, uh, HK SL. 8-1-1 This was uh, put out in the 80s and the 90s uh, It's a stripped down version of a G36 HK But they had to make a bunch of modifications I'm not going to get into that If you want to know more about them, go watch uh, Who? Uh, what's that guy? Forgotten Weapons, he talks about this one And uh, a pretty cool gun Charging handle, both sides And I'm, oh, I'm shooting green tips Green tip. So just it's a steel core. We're gonna see if you can get a better penetration. Okay. Now, uh, second from the left. Woo! Why the third what one? What the is heck? How come the third one every time? <laughs> Interesting. May maybe you hit the same. <laughs> There's no way I hit There's the same no way. Wall. Yeah, but why okay, the let's third dump one? this into the uh, oh, frozen oh, lake. Or maybe uh, every have a crack or something. I don't know. We'll find out right now. We'll, we'll go check it out. Right. Frozen lake. Oh, zero recoil on this one. Oh, look how look at this beauty. We'll come back to this someday. Just shoot this alone, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's go check out. Oh, you know why? I think the ones that made the hole were direct hit because the other ones were kind of like curving on the sides. Probably. Let's That's go see. That's what happened. Look at this. Oh, look at the hole. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What a that nice one, aim. No, you see, I told you. One went on the side. This one is really good. Yeah, but you know, whatever. Look at the holes on this one. That's my pinky. Yeah. Wow. So barrel lengths did make a huge difference. Yeah, the other one is over there. Uh, yeah, hit the over here. That didn't do anything. This one almost did it. These two, when I when I kind of I, I was uh, checking out my aim, these two were center shot. So that's why it was a direct punch into both of them. AK and 5.56 made it through. Interesting. Okay. Next. I'm gonna do 4570 thanks to Henry for sending this lever action and also Ranger Point Precision for sending all the buttstock, the furniture, the handguard in the front, the ammo holder. They're the ones uh, who sent that stuff over. The rifle itself was from Henry and they have these really cool modern uh, skeletonized buttstock that make it look super cool. Also the muzzle brake in the front was from them. Ranger point precision and Henry rifles for sending the the gun and let's not forget about my homies Underwood ammo for sending these bad boy extreme penetrators that's what we're gonna use in this this is a huge cartridge right there yeah okay listo I'm ready primary arms optics thank you so much they sent this SLX ready I'm ready final You go to the left? I don't know, but I hit it. You, you oh. didn't hear it? No, I hear it, but... Yeah, I just go to the left, like you said. Nothing. Nothing. 
One more. One more, and then I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going. Those are nice shots. Nothing. This is not an extreme penetrator, but uh, let's see what happens. Nada. Okay, 4570 is not doing it for us. It's uh, kind of big and uh, slow compared to the 556 and the uh, 76239. But uh, nice rifle. Next, we'll do a uh, dragon off. My grandpa brought this back from Romania. Shoots the, <laughs> the 762x54R. R stands for Russia. Since this is Dragunov, FII, these scopes are always shot and I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna use the uh, iron sights. You just have to bring your head a little down. Ready? I'm this ready. This is one of the guns I had on the table last time, but we didn't have enough oxygen tanks and I didn't get to shoot. So here's our tank. Oh. <laughs> you say don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go nowhere. Oh, this is a bigger gun. That's why it went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. That, that one had a nice uh, spinning. <laughs> okay, let's dump this one in the lake. I'm ready. Okay, let's go check see what happened. Okay, I swear if anybody laughs at me, I'm gonna get so angry. You better not say anything. I forgot my magazine for the 6.5 Creed War. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there too. I saw it. I was like, why is it not in there? Uh, and I put this in there and I forgot the magazine. So I have two single load. <laughs> Nemo Arms. Thank you so much to them for sending this over. It's a um, one I go to rifles that I forget the Mac for. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna use the 6.5 Creedmoor. Last time I shot that with the 308, it went through. Uh, 6.5 Creedmoor is uh, close enough to a 308. These two are competing back and forth for the first uh, winning position. And it's a popular round. So, uh, Nemo Arms, you're gonna use this. Also, I added this little cool thing over here from Raker. It's a forward grip that has a wire that hooks up to a Surefire Scout uh, flashlight and also has little uh, clips that mount to the pick rail on top. I'm so sorry that I didn't grab my flashlight. I was waiting for it. I ordered one, didn't come, but I didn't want to miss out on this to show it out. Pretty much uh, you got your momentary switch right over here. So you grab it, hold on to this and your rifle. Let me show you. <laughs> I'm forgetting so many things. <laughs> this, is so, <laughs> this is what happens when you get too many things. So you just grab it like this and your uh, grip and then just sits right over there like that. And you can hit your button and then it'll turn on the switch. Wire heights right under the little clips that they sell it comes with the kit. It, it's got uh, I think three different clips that are mounted in the Picatinny rail on top and it hides the wire and then you can mount your flashlight to the side on this side and I think or on this side. It's pretty cool. Instead of having it on the bottom you have it here with the switch and it's very ergonomic. I don't know if you guys can see that right over there. Raker, there will be a link in the description for them. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Raker or Riker? I think it's Raker. Like that, see Jasper? I'm pointing in an angle, okay, not at you. Oh, let me go this way, like that. You got that? Yes. Okay, now back to this. No mag, just drop it in there. And close the No, it's not closed. Hold on. Highway? What happened? Oh. Wrong bullet. 6.5 PRC. <laughs> but I did grab a box of 6.5 Creedmoor. Oh! <laughs> my PRC didn't chamber in. Huh? That's how you know. Yeah. <laughs> I would have blown up in my face. Well, no, I wouldn't have chambered in. Anyway, got the right one, 6.5 Creedmoor. <laughs> oh my God. What a disaster. Okay, fits. Final. First shot. Yeah, clear. Oh, we made it work. 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's go check. Right there. Little smaller hole than the other ones. 
Yes. Okay. Let's that one is each and a half. This one is two inches. and a half, and this one is four. Uh, Three. No, two. Okay, good. Two, two and a half, and one. Uh, Thank you, Doctor Science. One and a half. Let's go check our other oh, one. Where did it uh, fly off to? <laughs> this was fun, right? Yeah, this one is fun. This is like three and a half inch. No, this one is uh, two and a half. Oh. Okay. Fine, if you say so. There it is. Okay, we have one more left. Just better if you might as well just have fun. We know what happens with 50 BMG. Yeah, we don't know. We, we know how. Oh, 338 Lapua. Yeah. Let's do 338 Lapua. We haven't done that. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's go. Vamanos. AWM Accuracy International from Accuracy International chambered in 338 Lapua with the Night Force on it. Probably one of the best sniper rifles in the world. Super smooth and shoots this bad boy right over here. FMJ. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. Okay. Woo! My back starts to hurting. All these rifles are heavy. Yeah. Because, you know. Okay. Standing position is fine. Fire in the hole. Whoa! Look at that! Look! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice jump too, right? <laughs> yes. What was that? 50 yards out? Probably. At least 50 to 70 yards out full. Let's go see what happens and that's a wrap. <laughs> that is more than 50 yards. That's 150. I come wrong with this in I like how all my shots are center. <laughs> I am a sniper after all. First two, shot, first kill, center two, shot. Two inches hole. Two inch. And 150, this flew crazy. Uh, that first one was 50, 70 yards out, come here. Zoom in on that one tank we had standing up, look how far it is. That's how far, that's another 75 yards out from that tank. So 75 plus 75, just ready. 150. 50. That's 150 yards. Okay, let's break some more ice and call it a day. That's why you ready? I'm wait. ready. I got the magazine for this one. Ready? I'm ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Adios.